When I say that this might be the first democratically founded protest for democracy in Europe, people generally don't take that very seriously. But I think this is extremely important for the message we are trying to send. Because this is the first time that crowdfunding is used to sustain a nationwide pro-democracy movement. Here is what I mean. Every spring-like revolution so far has been more or less a disappointment. Why? Part of it, I believe, is because from the very beginning these events have been over-contextualized. Think of the East versus West, NATO versus Russia and so on. And that made us forget what was happening on the, on the ground. Well, we do not want to be a spring. We are not some sort of superpower-sponsored revolution. We do not seek the patronage of oligarchs and multinationals. We are a movement composed of individual citizens who have been ripped off and oppressed by a group of corrupt kleptocrats. And we've come together to demand that our government stops squandering our tax money, snatching our property and stealing our votes. We want free and fair elections. We are citizen-led and we want to be citizen-funded. The success of our mission depends on not allowing to be dragged onto a geopolitical chessboard. Where will be someone's puppets? Yes, we are broke. And yes, we are very small, but our demands wields a force of its own. We want our votes to count and our elections to be fair. This is a minimum to which all nations whose governments proclaim democracy are entitled. And the only way to ensure that we stay true to our grassroots goal is to rely on small individual contributions from citizens of goodwill from all around the world. This sounds naive, and I'm okay with that, but if we succeed, we will show that this new kind of citizen-driven organizing is possible on this scale, and that this new digital tool can be transformative in bringing social change in ways we can't even begin to imagine. I invite you to join us. Let's see if this can work.